Okay, Gringos, I got a new lock from Jeff Moss. Actually, it's not so new. I've had it for uh, two or three weeks now. Uh, it is a Kaba Peaks. Uh, it, he did not send me a key with it. I just want you to be able to see that keyway. Something to work with. I have picked this twice to control by accident. <laughs> I'd like to be able to pick it to, uh, to the operating line one time. That would uh, be the right thing to do. There we go. All right, let's use top of the keyway and let's get started on this thing. Uh, when I picked it, I can tell you it does contain, I'm guessing, I'm going to say at least two spools. I think there's some serrated in there and there's at least one or two standards which prevent us from getting our fault set. We've got to find those first. And it's really not a lot of feel off of this thing, I've got to be honest with you. A lot of trial and error. Tighten that down a little bit more. Because I do have to put quite a bit of tension on it and pry on it to get those pins to set. Not a user-friendly look. And I can understand why people with SFICs, the small format interchangeable cores, are taking out their older Falcons and Bests and replacing them with these Kabas because these are not an easy pick. I'm not going to give you a blow. By, oops, losing my tension wrench there. Damn it! I'm not going to give you a blow by blow because there's so much falling in there that I'd be wasting your time. I don't know if you can hear that clicking. It seems like every one I set to fall. I believe the serrators are what's killing me here. Nothing binding. Alright, let's do one more reset. I think I must have overset something. No love. And damn it, there we go. But uh, I got some bad news, fellas. Let me take that tension wrench out of there. Let me zoom out a little bit. We are not operating. We are again. We went to control one more time. Damn it. Well, I think we can gut it from control. I've never, 
I've never gave it a shot, but uh, we're only at four minutes. Let's give it. A, let's give it a try. What do you say? In the spinning tray. We're gonna need a screwdriver to get that clip off. Let me take that. Take a probe. Maybe I can pry it off with a probe. All right. Okay, we are still there. Fellas, I've never done a uh, SFIC. I'll be honest with you, I've never taken one apart, but uh, let's see if this does work. No. All right, it's not gonna come apart for us. Let me try to push that one more time. No other clip on there that I can see. We are definitely still at control. The arm is still depressed, but this thing just does not want to come apart. Anyway, there you go. Kaba Peaks to control. Sorry we couldn't gut it. I'm going to figure it out because I want to know what's inside this thing. We may have to pick it to operating to do that. But anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal, and i uh, got a video I want to put at the end. A guy sent it to me. It's encrypted. I can't read it, but he says that as soon as I put it up there, it'll unencrypt and you'll be able to see it. Anyway, talk to you later. Thanks. You just seen a pitly ass little bitch motherfucker fake wanna be gangster calling himself Bosnian Bill talking about picking locks. Man, Bosnian Bill is a fake style swagger jacking wanna be never gonna be G who learned everything he knows from me. I mean, I told him everything how to pick locks, break into buildings, manipulate safes. Basically everything and anything he knows, it all came from me. You know, and that ungrateful backsnapping, snake in the grass is taking my ideas and presenting them as his own. He took all my stuff and then he became a federal agent. Oh, after he stole from me, shoo-wee. Even though it's all my stuff, that's all good because you know what? He presents it well. So subscribe to Bosnian Bill and let him enjoy his time in the spotlight. Because when I catch him, I'm going to wrangle his face, rip out his teeth, cut his throat, air supply just short. Basically, in short, I'm just going to kill Bosnian Bill. So subscribe and let him have his time in the limelight.